children need consistency and they need to know that their poor choices will meet with consequences. Always you want to catch them being good. You want to try to stroke and reward and reinforce what they're doing, when they're doing it as much as possible, if it's something you want to see more of. So the rule of thumb is you reward what you want to see more of, and then you punish, if you must, what you want to see less of. However, use punishment very, very sparingly. So there's two types of punishment. There's going to be positive punishment and negative punishment. Positive punishment, don't let the name fool you. It's not a good thing. Positive punishment will decrease the likelihood that whatever they just did is going to happen again. So your kid swore at you. Positive punishment means you add something aversive. You hit them. Negative punishment is decreasing the likelihood that they'll swear again because that's what the term punishment means. But it means we're taking away something that they want. So you can add something they don't want or take away something they do want. Positive punishment is when you add something they don't want, avoid it, avoid it. If you add something aversive, guess what? You're increasing negative affect. You're increasing the crappy feelings between the two of you. And you're increasing their sense of victimization and traumatization. If you take away something that they want, something that they've liked, um, I avoid that whenever possible. I'd rather dangle a carrot in front of them. Hey, I heard you swear. I know you have better words for that. Instead of the word that you chose to use, let's come up with other words that you might be able to use. Okay, those are all permitted for me. So in the future, when I see you get upset, if you use one of those better choice words, that's awesome. You're going to earn whatever extra time on your iPad. 